This segment is brought to you by Full Sail University. All right, guys, let's talk about some wireless routers, specifically the 802.11ac new wireless routers that are just coming out to consumers. This is an updated wireless protocol for 5 gigahertz frequency bands. It can offer throughput of 1 gigabit per second, and it offers 80 megahertz channel bandwidths on the low end, and that's just the low end. Yeah, it can get really, really fast. Now, it enhances your wireless speeds around your home for multiple HD streaming, for online rapid backup. So, for example, example, if your friend's watching Netflix and you want to watch Netflix too on your computer, both of you guys can stream some nice HD without having any problems with streaming or buffering. And online backups can be much, much faster than N and G routers. Now, an AC router is going to give you much faster speeds for both N and AC clients on 5 gigahertz. AC is backwards compatible with N, so you can replace your N router right now with an AC router, and you're not going to see a big difference unless you have support for 5 gigahertz frequency. Now this one, the ASUS RT-AC66U, I believe it is called. Let's see, 802.11 AC gigabit router, AC66U. Oh uh, yeah, that's correct. All right. So this one is the upgrade from the N66U ASUS router, and it offers, or ASUS, and it offers about 1,750 megabits per second speeds, or about 1.3 gigabits per second. And it, that's a nice little boost of speed. It's got all your different ports on the back, of course, a couple of USB ports, power, and you got your little directional antennas. Ta-da! Got a five about 5 dBi, I think it is. Yeah, it's not too huge, but you you can always upgrade it, whatever. So this one costs about $180, kind of pricey, but in my mind, it's totally worth it. Now, 802.11g uses 20 megahertz per channel, or 54 megabits per second. 802.11n uses 40 megahertz per channel, and AC adds a lot more spectrum. It can take it up from 40 to 80, to 160 megahertz per channel. That's a really big difference from 40. And current generation Wi-Fi, these use close to the theoretical maximum that you can transmit over radio, so AC just uses more of the channels at the same time. So it's kind of like brute forcing its way through to get a ton of faster speeds. So to test this, I ran a couple of HT video streaming playbacks on a couple of different laptops with and without the adapters, and I'm also going to transfer a couple of files from Paul's Mac to my Windows 8 laptop using both my interior inferior Qualcomm chipset. It's a little BG and N802.11 uh, Wi-Fi adapter, as well as this outside one, which is a Netgear A6200 Wi-Fi USB adapter for AC dual band. It's very, very nice. Now, let's check this out. So, I'm on my little Windows 8 laptop, and for, for anybody who's interested in this, it's a X202E um, hot pink thing. I don't know. It's just something I've been testing. And so I'm going to go in here, and you can see I'm currently using the Qualcomm Atheros chipset, which is inside of my computer. And my outside one, the Netgear A6200, is disabled. So we already set this up to be able to get into Paul's machine. I believe these videos are under transfer, yes. So he already set it up with a couple of different videos. We got a little one over here, much larger one that's like two gigs in size, and then a whole, a whole bunch of secrets. <laughs> I hope these secrets are okay to give out, Paul. <laughs> Is that all right? Fine. All right, they're fine. <laughs> so I'm going to try transferring this large file right now, just with my interior one. Just going to copy it onto the desktop. Don't you love using the GUI interface? It's awesome. Nice thing about Windows 8, I will say, is it gives you this nice little graph, tells you how many minutes you got. Everything's right there for you. And this is going really slow, 13 minutes. And who knows, it might drop, it might not. That's really bad. And I know this it's going to speed up a little bit during the uh, middle of this, and or it might slow down, actually, and then speed up a little bit more at the end. But overall, it's going to take about 13 minutes from my testing. So I'm going to close this. That's going to take way too long. Let's see about all of these together. Or actually, I'll just do the, I'll just do this. And paste. All right, so that doesn't take too long. That's not bad at all, 15 seconds. Big deal. All right, cool. 
and all three together. How does this do? Yes. Delete. It's all three together, calculating. About 14 minutes, all right. We got a good idea of how long it takes to transfer over regular BG and N speeds. So I'm transferring two point, ooh, less than two megabytes per second. That's not good at all. Close that, all right. And let's go ahead and delete that extra file there. Now I'm going to switch over from this one to our new AC router and the little Netgear adapter that I have installed previously on this little laptop. All right, it should be automatically connected. Yes, okay. All right, great, so we're automatically connected to Morse code, which is the name of the router that I've made. Morse code, haha, get it. So I'm gonna go ahead and close that and close this. And on this new router, I actually have to use his IP address for his Mac, which is already right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect to that, log in. All right, so first we did the large video file. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that. So now we're getting speeds of, wow, seven point, about, okay, about six or seven megabytes per second, and it's only going to take four minutes. So that's less than half of the time it would have taken with the BG and N a compatible adapter on the inside of this machine. That's awesome. I love it. So that's not going to take any time at all. That's great. Okay, I, I like this already. All right, now I'm going to close that. Let's do, oh, I'm going to just do the pictures. This is probably just going to be immediate. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it's pretty much immediate. All right, that's awesome. <laughs> I love how fast this thing is. I need to get one of these for everything, all the things. All right, now let's copy these and do all of them at once. Still about four minutes, that's excellent. Okay, now I'm gonna test out something else with this. We discovered with this little adapter, it can be kind of a pain in the butt because you have it turned one way and you'll notice the speeds averaging about 5.7 or so. 5.7 megabytes per second. Now if I turn it around, which is closer to the router sitting over there, it's pointing straight at it. So we get nine, nine megabytes per second, just about. Definite change in the speed. That's crazy. So it's, it's really directional from what we've noticed. Um, but overall, pretty good speeds. Very happy with that. I'm totally okay with upgrading, and I think it's worth the money to do so, and I think I'm going to buy one of these for my home. Now, tell me what you think, because I want to know if you guys have already upgraded to AC and what your plans are with all of this, because it can do plenty of nice little features and upgrades. Stay tuned, because in just a bit, we'll be getting into your feedback and some trivia, but first, let's take a quick break. You know that the mobile app industry is on fire right now. Full Sail University's online mobile development bachelor's degree program can teach you the skill set you need to take advantage of those emerging opportunities. In this degree, you'll learn both the programming and the business sides of mobile development so that you can concept, develop, deploy, and market an application from start all the way to finish. You'll explore advanced programming languages, visual frameworks, usability principles, and app deployment for iOS and Android operating systems. Through Full Sail's Project Launchbox program, students receive a MacBook Pro preloaded with industry software, plus iOS and Android devices. Courses are delivered through Full Sail's immersive online education platform, which maximizes the capabilities of the Mac, giving you a learning experience unlike any other. Between the App Store and Google's Play Store, over 50 billion apps have been downloaded, with no signs of slowing down. So if you're ready to master the technology and software to compete in this rapidly growing industry, visit fullsale.edu slash HAK5 to learn more about this online degree program.